For these next practices, we're going to talk about emotional awareness. This may not be a familiar term for you. What does it actually mean to be emotionally aware? Well, we actually are applying mindfulness to our emotions, noticing what triggers them, how they feel in our body, and how we respond. When we're more emotionally aware, we're able to have a little bit of choice in those responses. The world that we live in gives us many opportunities to feel a whole variety of emotions. When we're at work, we can feel very joyful and happy. We can also feel frustrated or upset. How we respond to our experiences of emotion at work has a lot to do with how aware we are of the emotions as they're happening. Being emotionally aware can be very helpful for managing stress at work. When we develop emotional awareness, we're tuning into what are the ways in which we respond regrettably. It's no problem to feel stressed out or excited, yet if it makes us careless or causes some behavior that then we have to make up for, it can get us in a lot of trouble. So when we're emotionally aware, we're able to respond in a way that's more clear, more aligned with our overall goals and values. There's in fact a whole field in which people are studying emotional awareness and a series of training programs to help people regulate them. One such program is called Cultivating Emotional Balance. I've been teaching it for the last nine years and seen the benefits that people can experience in managing everyday stress. And the research on this program has shown that at a physiological level, our stress is reduced and our ability to have better relationships at home is increased. All of us universally experience emotions. This is a great way in to trying to understand how we can apply mindfulness to really help us. If we're using emotions as the target or focus of mindfulness, we can then find a way to unpack, closely look, identify, and work with some of our challenging emotional experiences. Music